Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is expand on the previous tutorial that I did. So in the previous tutorial, I demonstrated how to create a new constructible object which had its own category within an existing workbench. Now this is going to build on that tutorial and I'm going to create an entirely new workbench. So our custom object with its custom category will appear in a custom workbench. Now I'm not going to go over that same thing again. So I'd recommend if you are wanting to add a whole custom object with a custom category and everything like that, that you watch that other video, I'm just going to expand on it and demonstrate how to create the new workbench. So first things first, we're going to want to create a keyword. And this is going to be attached to our workbench to basically tell our recipes that they are owned by that workbench. So what we've got to do is right click new and just give it a unique ID. So I'm going to call it tutorial underscore workbench keyword and it doesn't need any of these categories or anything like that it can just be a type none so okay so now i'm going to find um an existing workbench first of all though in the furniture category uh, when i find furniture um now making new meshes and new animations and stuff is not something that is within my skill set so i'm just going to demonstrate how to do this with an existing workbench and so it's just going to look the same uh, but it's just a limitation of what i know how to do so i'm going to edit the chemistry workbench a and if you're editing one of these other ones do make sure you've set it to bench type alchemy because this for this example we're create we're crafting so we're not doing you know mod, uh, modding of objects which would come on you know smithing armor and smithing weapons and things like that we're wanting an alchemy workbench which is one where we combine ingredients to create a new object so we're going to want to give it a unique name first of all before we make any changes so we don't accidentally edit the vanilla entry i'm going to call it tutorial underscore workbench i'm just going to give it a unique name just to distinguish it when we walk up to it so i'm just going to call it tutorial workbench if it, this name doesn't have to be unique, but I just want to give it one year, but so we don't get confused when we see it in the game. And first of all, because we're editing an existing reference, we're going to have to remove the keywords that are associated with the vanilla objects. So if you remember in the previous tutorial, I mentioned um, these keywords that are associated with the workbenches, but this is where they are in this keyword section. And you'll see workbench chem lab. Now this is telling any constructible object with the keyword workbench chem lab but it belongs to this workbench, but we're creating a whole new one, so we don't want this. So I'm just going to delete that keyword and I'm going to right click add. And instead of that, I'm going to add the keyword we created in the last section, which was tutorial workbench keywords. I know this is going to cause confusion, but it's tutorial workbench keyword. Do better naming conventions than my tutorial ones, because my tutorial ones are a bit confusing. And that is now all we need to do in that case and yes we want to create a new form because we did edit an existing object so now we're going to want to go to our constructible object so I'm going to get to the constructible object that I made in the previous tutorial and I'm going to edit it so if you want if you watch the previous tutorial you will already know how to do this you might already know how to make a constructible object but uh, essentially this is the one that we're going to want to do and whereas previously we've associated it with Workbench Chem Lab, we now want to associate it with the new keywords that we created and added to our new workbench. So that's with tutorial underscore workbench keyword. And I've already set this up, if you've watched the previous tutorial, to have its own recipe filter, which is defined by the, by the keyword tutorial keyword. And it's been given its name through that keyword as well. I may as well show. It's, so the tutorial keyword has the recipe filter keywords tutorial stuff, which is going to define its display name, as we saw in the previous tutorial. It's now associated with a new workbench, and I will be creating a tin can, which I did realise when I watched the last video. To make my tin can, you need one steel, but a tin can has two steel in it, which means that this could be an exploit to make you endlessly create steel. So I'm going to up that just to make it five steel to build a tin can. It doesn't matter, this mod doesn't need to be balanced, it's literally a tutorial. I spotted it when I was editing the video. So, because my workbench does not exist anywhere in the world, because it is brand new, I'm going to place it down in the world. And I always place them in Abernathy Farm, because that's where my save, my test and tutorial save and everything is. 
even though Abernathy Farm in that save, there's a fight going on, so my videos almost always get interrupted by the Verta Birds attacking the Raiders in the background. Okay, so once you've created your... Uh, once you've loaded your cell, we're going to put it in. I do have a tutorial on how to create a workshop object already on my channel if you want to have this tutorial workbench be craftable. But um, I'm not going into that in this tutorial. I didn't realise I'd edited a big one. I thought I'd edited a small one. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just a little bit not as easy to position because it's big. It doesn't have to be super accurate because I'm just doing it for a tutorial. But there it is. So now I'm going to save that. And I'm going to jump into the game. Oh, it's not on the floor. Make sure you put it on the floor because otherwise that might mess up the animations. Um, now I'm going to go into the game and demonstrate that working. Okay, so here we are, and we had a good this play. positioning is clearly not ideal. Um, General, so you see it's called the Tutorial breath? Workbench, no, and we use it. So. There's the Tutorial Stuff um, section from a previous tutorial that I made, and it's now got a tin can, which is requiring 15 steel. There we go. Oh, go away. And... You will notice I didn't have very much steel, but that is because this is not properly linked to this workbench. I did not set that up, but that doesn't really matter because that wasn't what the tutorial was about. But um, also I can demonstrate now as well that because I took it out of the other chemistry workbench, it should not demonstrate. It should not appear in here. Yep, it no longer appears in here because I removed that keyword. It's now appearing uh, over there in this new custom workbench that we made that makes only tin cans absolutely pointless but i'm sure if you watch this tutorial you'll um, implement that in a much more creative way than this just for demonstration purposes so yeah hopefully that was uh, clear hopefully that was useful thank you for watching and goodbye